Caiaphas, the high priest, made his position clear to the religious authorities. Then the chief priests and the Pharisees called a meeting of the Sanhedrin. What are we accomplishing, they asked. Here is this man performing many signs. If we let him go on like this, everyone will believe in him, and then the Romans will come and take away both our temple and our nation. Then one of them, named Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, spoke up. You know nothing at all. You do not realize that it is better for you that one man die for the people than that the whole nation perish. John 11, 47 through 50. Protecting his own power and preserving public order were now his highest priorities. And Caiaphas knew that Jesus must die. Caiaphas was the Jewish high priest who served in Jerusalem from about 18 to 36 AD. History tells us that he was the son-in-law of Annas and likely from the tribe of Levi. As a member of the Jewish priestly class, he was a part of the sect of the Sadducees. Now, the Sadducees had priestly but also political and judicial roles. The other main religious group was the Pharisees, and they focused more on religious laws and teaching in local synagogues. Now, the Sadducees tended to be corrupted by money, and they were more interested in the political power and benefits from their close ties with the Romans. Caiaphas, who served as the high priest at the temple in Jerusalem, is an important historical anchor for three of the Gospels, Matthew, Luke, and John. He is also attested in the writings of Roman historian Flavius Josephus, where Josephus attests to his name, position, and time of service as high priest. Interestingly, Josephus specifies that he was Joseph, son of Caiaphas, but that he was also known as Joseph, who was called Caiaphas. This explains why the Gospels merely use the name Caiaphas. The name Joseph, son of Caiaphas, is also found on an ossuary or a bone box found just outside the walls of first century Jerusalem. In 1990, a tomb was accidentally discovered during a construction project and subsequently excavated. Twelve ossuaries were found inside the rock-cut tomb, two of which contained the family name Caiaphas. The ossuary, inscribed with Joseph, son of Caiaphas, was particularly ornate. Inside, remains of six individuals were discovered, including a man about 60 years old. 